Welcome back to my guest tonight, New York Times bestselling author, whose new book is called Heretic, Why Islam Needs a Reformation Now. Please welcome to the program, Ayan Hirsi Ali. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the book is called Heretic, Why Islam Needs a uh, Reformation Now. My first question would be, why does Islam need a reformation <laughs> now? Because unfortunately, too many people are dying in the name of Islam. Too, too many women live under oppression. Mm -hmm. Too many Jews are being demonized for it. Too many gays are being killed in the name of Islam. Too many Christians are being killed in the name of Islam. And I think it really has the answers to have the Reformation now. But isn't it, it, if I'm remembering the Reformation correctly, and it's been a while, yeah. wasn't the ref, aren't we having that now? Aren't we having the Reformation now? The Reformation was Martin Luther wanted a purer form of Christianity. And so when he put that up there, it created a hundred years of violence and mayhem. Isn't, are, isn't that the process that we are going through right now? It is the process that we're going through right now, and it's the process that I describe in the book, that the, mm -hmm. you know, talk of reformation in Islam has been underway for a while. And what's interesting about now is, yes, there's a great deal of violence in the name of Islam, but there is an emerging and incredibly important minority of reformers who are risking their lives mm -hmm. in trying to get this change done. And um, I stand with them. I hope you stand with them. Right. Well, no, I mean, uh, I guess my point is, uh, I think people single out Islam as though there's something inherently wrong with it that wasn't wrong with other religions. And so I guess my point is, if Christianity went through almost the exact same process, mm -hmm. uh, people who thought they knew better and were pure, and that created violence, and uh, so why is, I, I get the sense that you think Islam is different than other religions. Well, I'm saying that Christianity went through that process of reformation and enlightenment and came to a place where the mass of Christians, at least in the Western world, right. have accepted tolerance in the secular state, the separation of church and state, respect for women, respect for gays. Right. Well, in the Muslim world, well, yeah, but it's... And in it's, Africa, I think uh, yeah. there are still, you know, Central African Republic still has Christian... Uh, Catholics who, in the name of Catholicism, yes. despise and are homophobic. And, actually, and also behead Muslims and do crazy things. Yeah, the Central African Republic. But yeah. the majority of Christians, unlike right. the majority of Muslims, are not subjected to violence. And if you look at the, you know, 70% of global violence in the world today, right. Muslims are responsible and the largest number are of victims suffering are from Muslims. it. But yeah. I guess my point is, it seems like the narrative is from some reformers, mm -hmm. that there's something inherently wrong with this religion that is not wrong with other religions. And so that's he, the thing that I'm trying to, to get at. Yeah, so here's the key point. Yes. There were Christians, I mean, within Christianity who came out and said, you know, we need to change things, we need to reform, basically. Right. There are now Muslims today in growing numbers, not as large as I would like to see, but in growing right. numbers who are not pointing the finger towards Jews or Christians or American foreign policy or some other external factor, but they're saying right. there's something wrong within our religion. And what I'm trying to do here as someone mm -hmm. who grew up in the religion and came out of it and very much, um, you know, driven by, by a desire to change or to, to bring about change or to bring right. about change in the conversation is, okay, let's identify then what is wrong about, you know, what is, what is it with Islam that we need to change? And then I have these five key points. But I guess what I'm saying is the Reformation was not people who wanted to moderate Christianity. It was people who wanted it pure, who felt that the Catholic Church had become corrupt. The two, yeah, the, so the two religions, Christianity is different from Islam. The ones in Islam who are, you know, the Islamic State right now in Iraq and Syria, right. groups like that, they want... They want a more pure form. They want it in a as they As they interpret it, which is... Well, and as right. they apply it, and as, as the Quran it. says, and as the Prophet Muhammad lived in Medina, they're trying to right. emulate him in that time. I happen to think that the Quran is actually written by man and by men. Mm -hmm. And it's time for that narrative to change. So I you totally agree with but, you. But you get, you, get what I'm, you get what I'm saying. Like, to, to say that if we just change the text, don't we have to somewhat change... No, what I'm arguing yeah. here is not to change the text. What I'm arguing for here is for Muslims to accept the fact that this book is written by men a long time ago and that 
morality of the, of the seventh century, yet. the morality of the seventh century right. doesn't apply in the twenty-first century, and they have that's, to give that up. That's and that's I think, different. I honestly think that most Christians have uh, have accepted that that the Bible is written by man. That the morality of God knows when that's it doesn't yeah. doesn't apply now, and uh, most Muslims are struggling. On the one hand, this is the group that I call the Mecca Muslims. On the one hand, they're struggling to be as true to their religion as they possibly can, uh -huh. while on the other hand, they're struggling to then, you know, be modern and uh, live peaceful, prosperous lives. Right. And I think the way out of that is to start the conversation on the problem, problematic. You would like people to buy your book. I would like to change the conversation. Yeah, buy my book. Buy please read it for okay. yourself. Yeah, thank you. It's on the bookshelves now. Ion Hersiali.